everyone, this is Maria. Today I have a haul from the Dollar Tree, Five Below, and Bed Bath & Beyond, and Trader Joe's. And so it's not a small haul, not a big haul, so I guess it would fall right into the medium haul. <laughs> and so anyways, the first thing I want to share with you, actually I had it standing up nice and neat, you guys, and the kitties knocked it down. This is one of those tri-fold poster board type things that you use for school projects. And it says, project display board, used for science fair, art projects, classroom displays, presentations. Somewhere on here, it also says collage. And so that's what I intend to do with it, you guys. I'm going to make a collage. I haven't done that in a long time. When we saw these, Joey spotted these first. They're up at the cash registers. They were only $4.99. I go, wow, that looks like a real paper bag. It feels like faux leather, you guys. It really does. It says here, washable paper grocery bag. This friendly grocery bag is made from paper, but not just any paper, it's super natural paper. And that means it can be washed if need be. And so, but anyways, we got three. I bought them on separate shopping trips. Look at the inside flap. I love artwork, you guys. I just love, and I love Trader Joe artwork. Just so much fun to look at. So last week I visited three different Dollar Trees and so one of the Dollar Tree stores where I bought most of my items, they didn't have any regular shopping bags, you know, just the regular bags. So they said if I was going to buy multiple things, I might consider buying one of their bags. So I did. And so this says, looking sharp. I think that's really funny with the cactus. I love this color, this aqua color. Just reminds me like a retro color, like from the 50s. And so look at all of the cactuses. This is the inside flap. And then we have the same artwork. And so in the comments below, let me know if you buy any of these reusable bags from the Dollar Tree and which ones you've bought. And so I bought a couple at the 99 cent only store, but really mostly I bought my reusable bags at Trader Joe's. But this is really, really cute. I really like this. And so I needed to get some more of these little tennis table balls or ping pong balls only a dollar. My cats love these, you guys. They lose them. I have a feeling they're all under the couch, but at the moment, I'm still recovering from my surgery. I hate to sound like a broken record, you guys, but I'm six months in, and I still cannot get on the floor to look under the couch. And so this weekend, I'm going to have Joey check because I know we must have a lot of them under there, you guys. And so, but that was only a dollar, so I thought I'd just pick that up. And so the next thing I purchased are dinosaurs, these toy dinosaurs. These are made of a really nice plastic, you guys. And so look at this. I just love this. Now, what is Maria going to do with dinosaurs? And so I do have a DIY in mind, you guys. And so let's go ahead and set that down. This one reminds me of the Flintstones, you guys. I love the Flintstones cartoon, the prehistoric family in a prehistoric town called Bedrock. But anyways, you guys, I just love these. In fact, I used to love going to the different dinosaur exhibits. When I worked for the newspaper, I would cover some of those stories. And so those were always fun. And then I have this one right here. They do have two others and I may go back for them, you guys. And then you guys, I got one of these. It's one of those grow creatures and it looks like a pterodactyl or something. And so I did have a request to do another one of these videos, and so I hadn't planned on it, but every now and then someone will request it, and that's when I do another one. And so this was the best one that I could find. I'm gonna keep looking though, you guys, see if I could find another one. And then I bought these adorable bags, you guys, these little treat bags. Aren't they cute? I just love them, they're so, so cute. And I love the colors, I love the polka dots and the stripes. I thought they looked really well together. And now you guys, every time I go to Dollar Tree, I have to check for DVDs. And so I did find another Doctor Who, The Return of Doctor Mysterio. Sounds very mysterious, doesn't it? And so now I have three of these, and so I'm really excited. I mean, for a dollar, I think that's great entertainment, you guys. When I saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, these are too adorable to leave behind. And so they're doll houses with furniture. Look at the packaging. I love artwork. I'm all about the artwork, you guys. And so I really believe that's because I'm a collector. I've been a collector for many, many years. Okay, decades, you guys. And so I'm just aware of the packaging. Look at the little house on the background. 
isn't that cute and the little trim and then you could see the little the little roof shingles going down just really really adorable i love the colors of this house you know the pink the green and the purple and the white we have the furniture there's a couple of little people there and it looks like living room furniture there's tables and it looks like a little bed here for a dollar you guys one dollar oh my gosh this makes a nice gift and so it even is a nice gift to hand out at birthday parties and you guys it says here in the corner snap multiple homes together to build a neighborhood multiple homes i thought what oh my gosh and so that's when i noticed the pink one look how cute and notice that the furniture and the little people are pink and in here it's purple so you can interchange them also and then i love the purple roof and again it has it looks like the green door instead of the windows and then look up here you guys oh my gosh those are like triangles where this is a little bit differently so it's not like they're identical and then you guys it says snap together so i'm looking on here and right here you could see where you can snap the houses together so i thought i would do a separate video on these and open them up. I'm thinking the inside of these are probably just the solid uh, pink color or something, but we'll see when we open it up. But anyways, you guys, for a dollar, this is a fantastic buy. I really think it is. And so I'm gonna keep these two for myself, but I did buy some extras for gifts, you guys. I got another white one here. Oh, look, and another white one. <laughs> and a pink one so then i headed over to five below where i found this you guys look at this dinosaur play set oh my gosh look at this there's five in the package now you guys these are a really nice size but you can see the difference the ones from the dollar tree so basically i was paying a dollar for each of these but a dollar tree i got the larger ones but i decided in my diy I want to have different size of dinosaurs. So you guys, I think Five Below has one of the best candy selections, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun to look at all of the candy and all of the sweet treats. And so I have hauled this before, the Cracker Jack. Look at this, this is $2.50. I love the retro art there. And so the last time I hauled this, I did eat the whole package, you guys. It took me like three days because I was trying really hard not to eat it all in one day. But it was really that good. It was really fresh. I really liked it. Unlike other times that every now and then, I think I'm going to try like a package of Cracker Jacks, you know, in the little boxes, just the way we used to have them as children when I was growing up and even when my kids were growing up. But they just tasted stale. And so I thought, oh, gosh, they just don't make them like they used to. Yes, they do. And so this right here, $2.50. It's really delicious. I thought it had enough peanuts in there. I'm still a little disappointed with the prize, but I guess kids today would really like that. And so I was just spoiled in my day, you guys. But anyways, $2.50, a real bargain. Be careful. In the checkout line, they have another package that looks just like this. It's smaller though, and it was like $1.90 some. And so for 50 cents more, you're getting a whole lot more in this package. And then I forgot to share something with you from the Dollar Tree. I got this bouncy ball, this little bouncy ball. And so it was only a dollar. I'm going to use this for a physical therapy exercise that I was shown at my physical therapist. And so I'm going to have to put this in the closet where my cats won't get it because they will pop it, you guys. So on Mother's Day, my husband treated me to a really nice lunch. And then we headed over to Bed Bath & Beyond in Redlands. And so I wanted to see if they had the flip-flops that I bought two years ago there. And they did, you guys. And so Joey bought me two pair. Look at these. I love these. Look at the soles, you guys. The reason I really like these and the reason I purchased them to begin with is because I was having low back problems and now I know it's probably my hip. And so I've since had the hip replacement. So I'm really excited about trying out sandals also, you guys, because I have not worn sandals in so long. But these flip-flops really did it for me, you guys. I mean, they're comfortable. You can see how comfy and cushy they are. And so they're just made really well. These are $39.99. Yeah, I know that's a lot for flip-flops, you guys. But let me tell you, these are really nice. They lasted me a long time. I use them a lot. 
And so the other pair I've had for two years and I haven't worn flip-flops since my surgery. I do have to be very careful when I wear them. But you know what, you guys? I can be just as klutzy with tennis shoes. <laughs> and so, you know, I just have to be really careful. And I also got this black pair. Isn't this pretty? I just really like these. Also at Bed Bath & Beyond, I saw this and I thought it was so cute. It's one of these little massagers and you can see it's a little kitty. And so Joey says, why don't you just get that? It's so adorable. So sometimes if I'm on the computer too long, you know, you get a little kink in your neck and so you can just massage it out. And so just really, really cute. And speaking of kitties, we're going to have a birthday party for our kittens this weekend. Joey is even going to cook fish for them. We are so excited about this, you guys. They just turned one year old. And then our fifth kitten, she turns one year old around the beginning of June. And that is Junebug. And so we have been raising five kittens, plus the mommy, plus our other two cats, all year long, you guys. But let me tell you, they have kept us laughing and smiling, you guys. They are so funny. And so Joey spotted this at Five Below. And so Joey is actually a good shopper, you guys. And this is called a Pop and Play. And it's called Interactive Cat Toy Motorized Peekaboo Play. Doesn't that look like fun? And so it takes a battery, so we'll have to get batteries. And then here's the back of the box. And you can see the kitties looked really entertained. It says Interactive Cat Toy engages and entertain kittens and cats for hours. It has spontaneous movements and optional chirping sounds. This was about $20, you guys. And so I think they're really going to enjoy this. So this is it, my haul from the Dollar Tree, Five Below, and Bed Bath & Beyond. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great day and happy shopping. Talk to you next time. Bye.